front runner in a race for Midvale City Council has spent more on his campaign than paying back a victim in a fraud case. In February, Paul Hunt pleaded guilty to using his former company's credit card to pay for his personal expenses. As part of a plea deal, he agreed to pay $31,000 in restitution, but he's barely scratched the surface. Fox 13's Gene Kennedy has a special investigative follow-up. We told you about Paul Hunt's fraud conviction two weeks ago. Since then, he's done nothing more to pay the victim in his case, but he has put more than $1,000 of his own money towards his campaign. Fox 13 also found the former president of Hunt's company, and she says Hunt did not tell us the truth two weeks ago, and he's more interested in winning the election than righting a wrong. In 2006, Midvale Council candidate Paul Hunt worked as an accountant for Infobase Media, an Orem company selling Mormon music and MP3 books on sites like LDSAudio.com. But behind the scenes, Hunt was swiping his company's credit card for personal expenses. Pizza, Old Navy, Megaplex, living kind of the high life, McGrath's again, and you know, more movies and China Lily. Two weeks ago, Hunt told Fox 13. I asked if it was okay because my pay had been cut, if it would be okay if I could subsidize my income with, a, with using the credit, the credit card for personal use. And the and, company was okay with that? And the company knew about it and they were fine with it. They did not say it was okay. Hunt's former co-workers say the only person fine with it was the other guy busted for swiping the company card for personal use, Hunt's supervisor, Neil Bergstrom. I was aware that Paul had used the credit card for personal expenses and I had told him it was okay. But other InfoBase leaders testified at a hearing back in April, they had no idea. I was not aware of any usage of company cards for personal purchases until uh, Rome Allen and uh, showed us all of these, you know, two years worth of credit card statements. I was quite shocked. In fact, no one knew about the fraud until Hunt's supervisor, Neil Bergstrom, went to federal prison for committing wire fraud at another company. They found out Neil was going to go to prison. And so they needed somebody to come in and take his place. That was Rome Allen. She discovered the fraud. The prosecutor says Hunt labeled some of his personal charges company expenses. Foreign District Court, $107. Why was that a company expense? Orem was uh, where our office was located. I thought that was might, might be a uh, business license. Is that what it is? I'm... Pretty sure. Would it surprise you that I called the Warren District Court and found out that you got a ticket in April of 2007? Oh, okay. So that would be that would be a personal charge then. Okay, that's one you marked as a company expense. It was a simple mistake. Hunt and Bergstrom pleaded guilty to lesser misdemeanor charges as part of a deal, so Hunt could pay $31,000 in restitution. But in the six months he's been on probation, he's paid 100 bucks. In this case, I mean, he hasn't shown good faith. The money that is the restitution he's supposed to pay is to go to the widow of one of the investors. They lost everything. Ron and B2 lost their retirement. Ron died, and B moved in with her son in California. She's still waiting for the money Paul Hunt owes her. I'm not getting $30,000 that I'm owed. I'm living on Social Security. Why hasn't Hunt paid more? During his restitution hearing back in April... My personal finances are not that good right now. I'm unemployed. I've been unemployed for a couple months now. But when Fox 13 pulled Paul Hunt's campaign finance report, we learned that he spent $1,100 of his own money running for Midvale City Council. I'm surprised that he's running for office when he has things like this that are not um, accounted for. He's not taking responsibility for them. He is representing things that, oh, it's in the past, it was a mistake, they gave me permission. None of that is accurate. And I don't think that's right. I don't think that kind of a person should be voted in by the public without understanding this is what they're getting. Paul Hunt declined our request for an on-camera interview, but said over the phone, this case has gone through the courts, it's been settled, and he will hold up his end of the bargain. However, the prosecutor has already filed a motion to bring Hunt back to court to put him on a payment plan so that widow gets the money she's owed. The big question, if he goes back to court, will it just be Paul Hunt or Paul Hunt, the newly elected Midvale City Council member? You, the voters, will decide in two days. 
In the studio, Gene Kennedy, Fox 13 News, Utah.